I've already stated who he is as a character and that it he is that person that gives you those goals, those things to shoot for, those things to try to be. The standard bearer who follows his ideals to the T. And yeah, we should shoot for that. If you don't like it, well, tough shit. Go watch Hellboy. Go watch Snyder's weird ass fucking interpretation of Superman where he freaking wants. <sighs> the pop hit your cherry on things that he said about that man killing people is the one that kills me. That just. Seriously, son? Seriously? <sighs> that, that, that made no sense. That he doesn't even really understand Batman. He has an off-brand interpretation of what Miller did. He doesn't even understand the Miller version of Batman. Because as dark as Batman was taken in those movies, Miller still understood who Batman was as a character. That was still Bruce Wayne. Brought up to 11, but he was still Batman. Rubber bullets honest. <sighs> And he had no use for killing. If you know, read the actual book. He calls guns at the unit. Yeah, weapons of the week. The only time he uses them is to take down is that one fight there and it's rubber bullets. Every other time he's using the batarangs, his skills, his technique, and his brain. Like when he realized he couldn't beat the main mutant. <laughs> Your strength so he takes him into the mud pit and operates like a surgeon and the person operating like a surgeon is not going to be freaking bully baffled by the arcade reject and I mean arcade from the X-Men that Eisenberg was playing and calling it Lex Luthor no the only person to get any freaking treatment worth a damn was Gal de Goat, Gal de Godot as Wonder Woman, and I think that had a lot to do with her. Maybe Snyder understood enough. <laughs> Thank God Jenkins took over as director because she made that work. Because that is why Wonder Woman became as great as she was. And yes, I will give Snyder credit that he did do enough with her in BVS to make me give a shit because I, I didn't know anything about Godot. I was told by p critics that she wasn't going to work and then after I saw that movie I knew she would and she did great as Wonder Woman. And now we had her build it. So at least we had that going in to the JLA movie. Had it been a complete vision by Whedon I'm sorry but Snyder is not the person to move a superhero narrative. He is way too dark and into his darkness of things. His enjoyment of comedy did fine with MOS, and if he could continue to carry that thread into a second MOS with Henry Cavill, I think his name is Cavill, but I'm just calling him Cavill. I'm going to take it like Miller, because there's Mark Miller, and a lot of people would call him Millar, but it's Miller. So I'm going to assume it's Henry Cavill until I hear him go on the stage and say that, nope, that's not how you pronounce my name. So until then, Henry Cavill. Who has proven to be a great actor in other things. And no, I have no problem with Superman killing Zod. Fuck, that made the most damn sense. It was him or those people. Sorry, Zod. Superman will kill. He doesn't have the no-kill rule like, you know, Batman does it somehow. Freaking disappeared. Anyway. And yes, I know they killed in the Batman movie by Tim Burton's, but those were more of a study. But you know, I'm not getting into it. Actually, you know, he didn't really directly kill anybody in that movie. He may have indirectly, accidentally killed people. Maybe the Joker. Anyway, not getting into that. What I'm going to saying though is the Martha thing was idiotic. The story was all over the place. It 
I hated BBS. I liked JLA for what it was, but yes, it could use a freaking fix. It would have been great if it was more toned in a way that made sense and held together. And no, God no, I did not want to see the Snyder Cut. Because if that freaking scene with the Flash is indi indication, no, just no. I mean, if you do, guess what, folks? Even if you get the Snyder Cut and everybody loves it, it's not going anywhere. That's it. Boom. Snyder's moved on. DC's moved on. All they're getting is just a little pat on the back. That's it. That's all that movie would be. I don't give a shit how well it's received. It's not going to be a Deadpool moment. You're not going to get everything reset and just going with that. Because, I don't know, DC, ugh, they, they just, they reset everything when both Wonder Woman and fucking Aquaman did great. Shazam did fine. It didn't do as good as I was hoping, but it did fine. So there really isn't a need for a reset button, but they're probably going to push it. But we really don't need Snyder's version. And if you like Snyder's version, that's fine. I I'm happy for you. At no point did I say you're not welcome to your opinion. I'm just saying I don't want to see this thing. I don't want it in theaters. I don't want Snyder to continue on with the JLA. He did fine with Man of Steel. He probably would have been done fine with Man of Steel too. Maybe somebody else can hopefully one day pick up the pieces and go forward. And I just kind of worried with the recast, but we'll see. I I really think they should have given freaking Cavill what he wanted and gone forward with him and actually done something with him. They treated him like crap and then abandoned him, and it made no damn sense. He did the part justice. And I'm looking forward to the next Aquaman movie when freaking Momoa stops trying to play activism boy and gets off his ass and makes the damn thing. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean your politics, I don't care. Shush. This is his big break and he's dicking around because he thinks he's goddamn motherfucking Brando near the end. Look, 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 look. Brando didn't even start doing that shit till after he had made a bunch of movies <coughs> and made himself known. You're just starting, Sunshine. But anyway. Anyway. Superman does not need to be the villain. It never makes any sense. And I'm not going to go with the full on teeth bared as I did before at Alice Need. I still think he's foolish. I still think he's childish. And his comments were idiotic, misinformed, and irrelevant. I don't need to know your opinion of me, son. I don't give a damn. I mean, my boy, you think I give a damn with some stupid ass man child has to say on me? Talk all you want, it means nothing. Why don't you try instead stick to the subject matter at hand? I don't like a movie. And instead of trying to prove that that movie is as good as you claim it is, you had to attack me. Which proves you don't have a leg to stand on. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you have to go after the person making the original critique of said movie and saying that we don't need it, then you don't have a strong enough belief in your own case to have a conversation. Good day.